Hello guys and girls, in this video we're gonna take a look at using LEST, which is a CSS preprocessor. Now LEST basically extends the CSS language and lets us nest selectors, we can use with variables and a couple of things like that. Basically it makes the code a lot more structured and easier to work with, with than normal CSS code. So now just go ahead and uh, create a new link, give, a, give it a relationship here the rel attribute of uh, style sheet slash less and just include it as a normal CSS file but uh, name it dot less instead so I've named mine style dot less then I'm using the CDN version for uh, for the less compiler which you can use live in the browser so for this tutorial we're gonna use this I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description so you can just copy and paste it into your head section. Now normally in a live environment you would not use this uh, kind of uh, compiler because this compiles in runtime, alright? So someone open up, up the page, uh, the less uh, CDN JavaScript file compiles or less file to CSS, the browser reads CSS, alright? You see this takes a lot of time. So what you would do normally is you would pre-compile the less file before um, using it in your web page, right? It's, it's just used as any normal CSS file when it has been compiled, right? So normally you can use something, if, if you're using Node, you can use, for example, um, Grunt or some task runner like that to do all the compiling work for you and pre-compile the less to CSS. You can also download standalone applications to uh, Windows or Mac. Uh, one of them is named uh, uh, Koala, it's written like this. You can go ahead and download that if you want. Uh, it's just a normal desktop application where you can uh, type less and then it will compile it to CSS for you. But for this tutorial, just to make it simpler, we're gonna do everything in runtime. So we will just be typing less in this code and it will be compiled to CSS and the browser will be able to read it. So now we're gonna start off by taking a look at the very basics of less, which is variables. So like any program language, in less you can actually add variables. So let's for example say that you get a color you want to use multiple times on your web page, you would say Let's say background color. Let's set it to CCC, light gray. So that's how you define a variable in less. Now you can define colors or dimensions, font names, URLs, uh, selectors, all kinds of variables that you feel like you need to store, okay? Then to use the variable, you would just simply, let's say you want to add a background color to the body you would just say background color and then specify the variable so it's basically basically like any programming language you can declare variables in that way and you can create how many you want let's say uh, main color let's say uh, eee so very light gray and let's just change this to main color you can see we got the main color now instead now also the scoping for these variables is if I declare main color up here and then I declare it again down here less is gonna look to the closest scope okay so now if I down uh, sorry if I uh, let's say 0, 0, 0, so black you can see that now it's using the main color variable in the nearest scope which in this case is in the body selector right so that's how to use variables and this really comes in handy when you get a lot of colors or dimensions you want to reuse again and again and again then we also got mix-ins this uh, lets us uh, use an existing class and or an id and just apply all the styles from this class or id directly to another selector so let's say, just to make it a bit more interesting, we can, let's go ahead and just create the div here. Let's give it a class of box. 
And let's just create. Selector for it, so uh, let's just say. So we got something to work with. 200 pixels width, 200 pixels height, and background color. Let's say CCC. Oh, by the way, let's use a. Uh, we can declare a new variable for that. So say box background color. Now you can see we get this warning because box background color is undefined because we haven't created that yet. And we're not using the background color so we can go ahead and delete that and instead create the box background color. Let's set it to CCC. And now we got the box background color for this div. So to use mixins, you can, for example, simply just declare a selector here that doesn't exist in the HTML markup, but let's call it, um, you can call it anything like um, border. And you say border, solid one pixel, let's set it to uh, 2929, so very, very dark, almost black. And yes. Include the mixing right here, so you say border. Now you can see we got a border on this. So now you can reuse this mixing for how many elements you want. Now if I would create a class with, uh, uh, or a div with the class of border, then of course it would get this uh, border class. So let's say we get this div here with a class of border. Some content in it. So we got this border here. What you can do then is just add parentheses after it, like that. All right. So now this is only a mixing and not a rule. All right. So that's good to know in case you're using mixings and don't want your mixings to get hanged up on elements. Now, mixins can also receive parameters, which as well would use the um, parentheses for. So let's say that perhaps we wanted to uh, pass a parameter with the, let's say the border color. You would simply do like this. So let's say color. And initially we can set this to 29, 29, 29. And let's use the color here. So now we're using this parameter here for the color of the border. And to pass this, you would simply do like this. So say we want to use a border that's uh, blue instead. You can just do like this. And as you can see, now we got a blue border. Of course, you could pass a color in hex format here if you want to. Uh, you could pass. Uh, RGBA color So that's how you can as well use uh, Parameters inside mixings. All right Now one of the things I use the most and I think it's the most powerful thing with the uh, Less is using nesting So now let's say we can go ahead and remove this border Keep it like this. I'm also gonna remove this uh, border div element. So let's say now we have a box inside here. Uh, oh, sorry, a new div inside here. Let's give it a class of box inner, like that. And now in normal CSS, of course, you would do like this to use the descendant selector, right, to target the child. Now what you can do in, C in less is you can use nesting. So simply do like this. Add the style inside the parent style. So like this. And let's say 
yes so we can see it 50 pixels give it height 50 pixels and a background color of blue so now you can see we're actually target the box inner inside the box so if you would right click here open up the developer console and maximize it you can see that um, the CSS styles apply, apply as they would usually if you use descendant selectors normally in CSS so it gets compiled to what you would normally write in CSS so that's how to use nesting and of course you can just keep nesting and nesting and nesting you could add like this and go multiple levels down okay and you can also use the and sign like that now this won't work in this case but this is used if box also had a class of box inner then it's targeting targeting box and then box inner okay so the direct class after this class I'm just gonna remove that now all right you can also use operations in less to do just basic math operations to colors or numerical uh, values so just a very simple uh, example would be uh, let's say we got uh, a variable here let's say div width and make it equals to equal to 100 pixels and then we'll say this box okay let's give it a width of 200 pixels minus minus div width all right so now you can see it gets half the size so 100 pixels 200 minus 100 all right and you can of course use plus as well like this for example now you can see it gets bigger and you can multiply and use this in the all kinds of ways and let's also have functions predefined functions that you can use yes like in any programming language so let's say we got this uh, box background color here for the box right here I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so for example one of these functions would be let's say darken and we want to darken the box background color that's the first parameter the other parameter would be how many percent we want to darken it so let's say 20 percent darker as you can see now we get a background color that is 20 percent darker than the box background color so there's a couple of these uh, predefined functions you can use in less now we will not cover them all but you can check on uh, on less documentation page if you want to use them this is just to show you how to use these uh, predefined functions and it's really simple as you can see so yes go ahead and check their documentation page on the less documentation so that's it for getting started with using less as you can see it's really simple and has a ton of other features than we had just gone through but this is just to get you started so i hope you learned something and if you're completely new to css and less and html i'm also gonna leave a link to my udemy course uh, where you can learn html and uh, css really quick for beginners and you will learn it in depth so i'm gonna leave a link to that as well so thank you for this tutorial i hope you learned something bye bye